Good morning to you. I'm Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Tuesday, the 28th of June, 2022. Quite a busy look to the map again this morning. In the Gulf of Mexico, we have Invest Area 95L now forecast to potentially become a tropical depression, maybe even a tropical storm before moving inland over parts of South Texas. So be ready for some heavy rain and maybe even some coastal impacts. More on that as this develops over the next couple of days. Meanwhile, there's tropical cyclone number two, or at least potential tropical cyclone number two to the south and east of the Windward Islands, heading into that direction with some squally weather over the next day or so, and then eventually moving across the extreme southern Caribbean before potentially becoming a hurricane before making landfall either in Nicaragua or Costa Rica. And then to the east of all of that, we do have another disturbance with low probabilities of additional development and then yet another strong tropical wave trying to make its way off the coast of Africa. So a very busy look here. As you can see, here's another representation of our features this morning. In the eastern Pacific, Celia die, uh, dying out. And then we have this area in orange now with a medium probability of development, but no worries for folks in Mexico. This will continue to head off out into the open Pacific, no matter what it develops into. No concerns for any impacts from this system. All right, so here's the track map from the Hurricane Track Insider site of potential tropical cyclone number two. A, rare, a very rare situation where this will scrape across portions of northern South America after going through the Windward Islands and then eventually becoming potentially a hurricane in the Southwest Caribbean. So this is gonna be an interesting situation to watch. Over the coming days, a uh, pretty rare event indeed. All right, moving on along to the satellite animation. Here are all of our features. Not much activity in the Gulf just yet, but the potential is there for this to develop further. There's our potential tropical cyclone number two. A little bit better organized this morning, but not quite all the way there to what we call a tropical depression. Uh, the recon plane will go out there again today and check this out, and we'll know more later this afternoon. And then finally, our other two disturbances out over the Atlantic, and then the one exiting Africa there. I cannot emphasize enough what an unusual look this is considering that it is the very end of June and not August. Computer models here, well, at least one of them. This is the GFS from the 6Z run, the operational guidance here. There's 95L in the Gulf of Mexico, gradually tries to become better organized before moving into South Texas or extreme northern Mexico. Then PTC number two, scooting across the northern portions of South America. Um, once again, that's a very unusual track, but there it is. Uh, finally emerging in the Southwest Caribbean Sea, where it could pretty quickly strengthen into a tropical storm or a hurricane, perhaps. And finally, uh, that other disturbance out in the open Atlantic might bring some much-needed rainfall to portions of the Northeast Caribbean with a little bit of development associated with it, a little bit more of organization with that tropical wave, low potential that it becomes a depression or anything further. Maybe, like I said, it could become a good rainmaker in areas of the Northeast Caribbean where you desperately need it. The Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, good examples of that. All right, I am on the road today doing some traveling, so no hurricane outlook and discussion for today. Uh, but I will be back in the morning with another look at what's up in the tropics. As always, thank you for tuning in. I'm Mark Suddeth. I'll talk to you again tomorrow morning.